Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It was me, CGV. We're here uh, doing a Clue-themed episode because I got the box that the Clue game comes in. But we're playing Commander, in case you thought that we were playing whatever the Clue game is. No, we are playing Commander with some of those sweet new Clue Commanders that come in the box. So, uh, we are at the Worst Possible Commander Show. We talk about the worst thing we're going to do to each other. That's our rule zero. And I'm here with my friends, Blake hey. and Ben and Shay. Hello. And I'm going to go first. Uh, I'm playing Lavinia foil to conspiracy. I am blue white. I am detecting, I'm investigating. I'm trying to figure out which of you rascals did the crime and where. <laughs> uh, whenever I cast my second spell each turn, I investigate. I also tap this for two colorless mana and I can only activate that during your turn. So I'm doing more blue-white clue stuff. I don't know how I'm going to win. I really have no idea. I don't have a combo. I don't have a pro to the second sun. I just have a lot of annoying cards. So I'm just gonna use my little worst possible moment here at the start to do psychological warfare with you guys and let you know that if you attack me, you might be walking into an Aetherize, Aether Spouts, or Settle the Wreckage to wipe out your whole boards. Oh, just I do can't. Dude, Keep you that in mind. <laughs> Dude, you started by saying, I'll go first. I thought you just declared that you were going first in the game. I was like, <laughs> can we just do that? Can I do that? I, no. I want to no, do that. No. Let me do it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, this is just evidence I'm examining. Uh, we're, go ahead, Blake. What, what's your worst possible? Oh, go yeah. Go ahead. All right, Private. I'm playing Co Commander Mustard. <laughs> Now this is a 5-5 five, five human soldier for five mana in Boros, Vigilance, and he gives all my soldiers uh, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. And you know, I can pay four to make all of my soldiers deal one damage when they attack uh, to the defending player. So I'm gonna try to kill everybody with soldiers. It's gonna be great. Mm, a fake accent, what is he hiding? Drop and give me 20. <laughs> <laughs> ben. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> ben, uh, where is possible? What's your commander? So I'm playing Amzu Swarms Hunger. He's like Sir Conrad, but when they when cards leave my graveyard, they create a token insect and they get bigger. Oh, wow. Sir Conrad, but gross. <laughs> and they have menace. Wow. Beware. Wow. And my worst possible is Rise of the Dark Realms. Give me all your creatures, guys. No problem. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Control mage says cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take him. <laughs> All right, Shay, who is your commander and what did they do? Uh, well, today I'm playing Emissary Green. So we're all about, uh, you know, Green. diplomacy today. Mm -hmm. Uh, when Emissary Green attacks, starting with you, each player votes for profit or security. You create a number of treasure tokens equal to twice the number of profit votes. Put a number of 1-1 one -one counters on each creature you control equal to the number of security votes. So I'm willing to bet that you guys are not going to want me to have treasures. So I actually built a deck around the 1-1 one -one counters. Mm. <laughs> Why would she then tell just, us that? She's going to give her treasures. That <laughs> means that she wants the treasures, though. Oh. Very interesting. Mm. We need a few mm. more clues to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> uh, for my worst possible, I have Staff of Titania, uh, which will uh, make it so I can kind of swing with the Emissary Green with fair reckless abandon. Uh, and then I have a Champion of Lambolt here. Uh, so that way when I attack, everything gets all those juicy 1-1 one -one counters, and then you can't, you can't block. Suspicious. Yay. Very <laughs> suspicious. She kind of tells us about it, but then says that we'll vote for the other thing. Shows mm. us cards that would make us vote for one thing, but does she actually want the other thing? What game A is she playing? Is it, does it have anything to do with this knife? Uh, anyway, our show is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST to get yourself a discount, and also by Ultimate Guard. Now, I believe that this requires a close examination. Let's dive in. Let the mystery begin. All right, I won the die roll because I'm the best, so I'm gonna go first. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a planes and pass. Draw. Play a Takanuma Abandoned Mire. I'm gonna tap that for an Entomb. I'm gonna search for a creature and put it in my yard. 
It is a giant ataphage. The, who what? had that on their bingo card? <laughs> no one. <laughs> it's a 7-7? Seven, seven? What? Whenever giant ataphage deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of giant <laughs> That's how many ataphages. It's an insect. It, it is. is. Oh, it's going to have Menace. Thematic. Okay, your turn, Jay. All right. I'll play a forest as my land for turn. Then I'm going to tap it for a land of war elves. Then I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hmm. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so quick. Uh, I will play the study tapped. Yeah, thematic. Okay. I will draw for turn, play command tower, and a mind stone. And I'll pass. Draw for turn. Play a Lanamore waste. Tap that waste. Lose a life. To play a three visits. I thought it was going to be an animate dead for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that I was hoping. Awesome. <laughs> I was hoping you had the classic. That would have been sweet. Yeah, I got a. Overgrown too, my liner tapped. Go ahead, Shay. All right, I'll untap, draw, play a forest. Then I'll pay two for a three visits. 20. Nice. Okay, I grabbed a forest with three visits. Then I'll pay a green to cast an elvish mystic. Jeez. Okay. Ramp City. <laughs> Ramp City Pay Trap, Ramp City <laughs> Pass the CGB. Untap, up keep draw. I'll play Utuwara, Soaring Cite, and I'll pass the turn. I will untap. Draw for turn. I'll play a planes. You wouldn't, you wouldn't dare. What? What wouldn't dare what? We're gonna find out. I'll play Myril's Shield of Argive. Yeah, I'm gonna remand that. <laughs> <laughs> and draw a card. That makes sense. I need to hit my land drop. I'm sorry. Oh my oh, god. It's, it worked too. I drew a land. Happy for you. Uh, thank you. Well. <laughs> I'm the law in these parts. We can't go just casting our four drops. Oh man. Are you going to cast four drop? In any case, your turn, Ben. That was too good. Yeah, it felt great. <laughs> draw for two. I'm going to play a Tainted Wood. I'm going to play Steve. Sakura Tribe Elder. And pass to you, Shane. I'll untap and draw. I'll play Forest as my land for turn. I'm gonna pay five to cast Defiler of Vigor. Okay. He's a 6 6 trampler. As an additional cost to cast green permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost green one green less to cast if you paid life this way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control. Uh, Blake, swing it on you for one. I'll take one. Then I'll pass the CGB. Untap up, keep draw. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow. Well, I got made fun of for not controlling the board very much in a recent uh, game. Oh, shit. Yeah, mm. so this time I'm doing Guild of is Proud and managing things, and that means Defiler of Vigor, destroy evil. <gasps> wow. Boo. Okay. Too strong, too fast. Oh. Sorry. Azorius Chancery, I will bounce Otawara, Soaring City. I will pass the turn. I'm gonna untap, draw for turn. I'll play a Plains and cast my commander. Pass the turn. What's your commander's name? A uh, Commander Mustard. <laughs> Ten four, private, and other stuff. These are Whiskey words Alpha. He thinks Mustard Lima, commander Lima, Oscar say. Lima. Lima, Oscar Lima. Which means LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and your NSEP Commander Mustard. I'm going to sack Steve to get a. It's Captain land. Commander Mustard. What? It's actually know. not. <laughs> In my mind, it is. Okay, got it for us. I'll under tap, and then I'll go to my turn. Draw for a turn. Tap three for Gris the Hunger Tide. Ooh, insect synergy. Mm -hmm. yes. I will plus him. I'll create. An insect token, a black and green insect token, and I'll mill a card. If an insect is milled this way, I put a loyalty counter on him. This is my insect dude. Oh, it's cute. a shadow. It's not two of them though. <laughs> Wait, is the green a shadow, or is the black a shadow? Let uh, the art speak choose. for itself. Anyway, I'll mill a card from Grist, and if it's an insect, I do it again. But it's not. It's swift foot boots. Shoot. Oh, no. Classic non-insect. Not the boots. 
And I'll play Malakir Meyer for my land drop for turn. And I'll pass you, Shen. Okie doke. Untap. Draw. All right, I'm going to play Nykthos Shrine to the Nyx as my land for turn. I need to get that. It's currently mana neutral. Nope, negative. Ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that will it's last. It's not going to last, but. Then I'll pay three to cast Tribute to the World Tree. It did not, did not last. last. Uh oh. And I will pay two to tap my Nykthos. And I'm gonna choose green, of course. Uh, and that'll be for five mana. And that's gonna cast Emissary Green. And then with Emissary Green entering the battlefield, I've got a Tribute to the World Tree trigger. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, okay, then I'll pass to CGB. Starting with you, each player votes Ugh, for profit or security. My commander wants security, but I want profit. <laughs> <laughs> you create a number of treasure tokens equal to twice the number of yeah. profit votes. Yeah, that's so gross. Jinx. Put a number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Yeah. Equal a number of security? Ugh. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Uh, indeed. Ugh. Gross. And we don't know what she wants because she said she wants counters. Yeah. Cause she told we, we have no know. idea what she wants because and she you're told still us mulling directly. that over. <laughs> you keep mulling that over, you let me know. <laughs> I know what she doesn't want. Untap up, keep draw. No, she did not. You could tell. She doesn't want me to play this land, tap these mana, and Lauren of the Third Path blowing up tribute to the world tree. <laughs> oh, That's what she doesn't she want. She does not. Dang nab it. No, she doesn't want that. Okay. That's a shoot dang. <laughs> shoot dang. <laughs> also go for one blue and a moon snare prototype. I can tap an untapped artifact or creature for a colorless mana. Your turn, Blake. <clears throat> we'll untap, draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna play a Battlefield Forge. I'm gonna tap three for a Herald's Horn. If that enters the battlefield, I'll choose Soldier. You'll choose what? Soldier? I thought he was going to say it with the accent <laughs> yeah, I or something. Soldier! Brother! I understand now. It was almost a little piratey. <laughs> Get off my ship. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to pay three, hopefully don't get remanded, and play Myrel's Shield of Argive. Oh, you got it. Nice. That gets haste, uh, vigilance, and trample because of my commander. Jeez. That's really good. That is good. Yeah. I'm going to go to combat. Ben, if you don't kill any of my creatures next turn, I will not kill Gris this turn. No. Do I have a deal, Private? Yes. My insects okay. will not hoard you. CGB, you remanded my card. I did that. I, I also tried to keep Shay in check. I'm not Shay. I'm Blake. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to attack you for five <laughs> with my commander. And I will attack Shay for three with my command with my non-commander. So you have a 3-4 coming at you, and you have a 5-5 five five coming at you. My 3-4 has Trample. I will also get a trigger from Myrel, which will give me two 1-1 one one soldiers. All right, this is going to give me two technically colorless artifact soldiers, and now I've got two of them. And you guys have dudes attacking you. Shoot, I am not going to block. Yeah, no blocks here. I'll take five commander, go to 35. I'll take three. Shay, is this what it feels like to attack people? <laughs> oh my god. Do you like it? Pass the turn. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna tap five. Get on zoo out. Shay, so we're gonna have to vote next turn. Unless kill something him, happens right? to that commander. Um, I mean. You wanna, how about if you don't attack me with Mr. Green there, I won't kill him. Double dealing. Double dealing. Yeah. Yeah. By the transit property, Shay and I have a deal then too, right? No. Because if I have a deal with no. you and you have a deal with Shay? Only, I mean, if you make one, sure, but. No. <laughs> That's not uh, how shape politics works. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I won't attack you for one turn if you don't kill Emissary Green. Right now, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Sweet. Nice. Shake on it. Not legit. <laughs> Dang it. Damn it. It's a deal. <laughs> I will plus one on Gris, make an insect, and it is not an insect. Go ahead, Shay. Okay. I will untap. And drop. I'll play Karn's Bastion as my land for turn. Then I'll pay three to cultivate. 
All right, I grab two forests with the Cultivate. One will go tapped, one will go into my hand. Next, I shall move to combat. Uh, I'm gonna attack with Emissary Green, and he's gonna go to CGB. I believe I earned it. All right, so I'm attacking CGB with Emissary Green on the attack. Beginning with me, we each vote for profit or security, and I will vote for security, which is 1-1 counters. What are we thinking? I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, and I'm not sure is the answer. Yeah, I mean, um, they're both good options for her. It's like, I kind of feel like we should all just vote for security. But she said that that's what she wants, so how do we know? But then the how treasures? do we know that she wasn't true? No, 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 that's uh, profit. You want, you want to, wait, you want counters? You want us to vote counters? So plus four, plus four to a creature is permanently? That's what you want? I'm worried about the mana though, man. I get that. We can deal with the creature yeah, and it's yeah, not attacking well, uh, me. It's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> well, you're not future, wrong. But... You're not wrong. I don't know, what do you think? You know, I asked you. It depends on like her hand. It does. Like, it like does. If she's gonna pay, Shay, play some nine hand? drop. <laughs> <laughs> she only has three cards, but I mean, I was either I was gonna say we should yeah. either all vote for one or all vote for the other. Profit. No. <laughs> Too bad for your idea, Blake. <laughs> you said this is attacking CGB. Yeah. Profit. Wow. Wow, really? Solidarity. Security. <laughs> I She's only got three security. cards in hand. All right, all right, all right. So that was two for profit, two for security. Two for profit. So we just split the worst of everything. All right, let's go. We're all right. I did not expect you to vote security. After well, we since voted you said profit. it's attacking CGB, I thought you would vote security. That's what made it more epic when he did it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, so everything's going to get two 1 1 counters. And then I get twice the number of votes for profit. So that's going to be four treasures. All right, so that's five coming at you, CGB. Noted. Uh, I'll take another five commander from a different player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that's my turn. I'll pass. Okay. Hey, that might worked out. Nothing bad happened. Exactly. Yeah, other than my face getting punched. <laughs> commander, Lavinia, foil to conspiracy. Two, three, vigilance. When I cast my second spell each turn, investigate, tap for two mana, activate only during an opponent's turn. Two so mana. Cast Talisman of Progress. Ta-da! I investigate. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna untap all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> In my upkeep, Herald's Horn trigger, I will look at the top card, and I will not reveal it, and then I will draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna spend two because of the Herald's Horn and cast Prava of the Steel Legion. So one four cat soldier. As long as it's my turn, creature tokens I control get plus one, plus four. And I can pay four to make a 1-1. One, one. Then I'm going to pay three to cast Shared Animosity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to super casual like go to combat here. Yeah. Super mm -hmm. casual. I'm going to send both of these soldiers at Grist. I'm going to send Myrel and Prava at CGB. And I'm going to send Commander Mustard at Shay. So when they attack, Shared Animosity and Myrel is going to trigger. Shared Animosity is going to give all my creatures plus five, plus O. Oh. Um, then Myrel triggers, and I'm going to get five more soldier tokens. So I'm going to have five that are not attacking. Keep in mind that the soldiers all get plus one, plus four. So these and are seven five, fives with Trample, Vigilance, <laughs> and Haste. <laughs> and our soldiers. And where are they going? Those are both going at Grist. At Grist, okay. So then you've got a 10-5 coming at you, Shay. Mm -hmm. This one does not have Trample, though, so if you want to sacrifice one of the dudes, you can. So, we uh, start over here, blocks. I will not block. Mm -hmm. Makes okay. sense. I'll tell you what, Shay. I mean, I'll double block, I'll get rid of my commander, I'll get rid of all the creatures on my board to kill the, the Myrel if you'll kill the uh, Colonel Mustard. Commander Mustard, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we gotta slow him down. Yeah, like, we have, to set, we have to make sacrifices. Yeah. I like the solidarity. I will double block with the Elvish Mystic and the Lanamar Elves. Sure. I'm really nervous, but I will also double block the Myrel, hoping, hoping that's not what he wants. All right, well, Ben. Your Grist will die. Shay, your two dudes will die, as will my commander. 
and CGB, both of your creatures will die, uh, and you will take 10 from Trample, and Myrel will die as well. Ooh. Yep, I can't even use the ability on the way out the door because Myrel shuts it all down. What a battle. I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw for a turn. Untap three for a crawling infestation. At the beginning of my upkeep, I may mill two cards. If one or more creature cards are put in my graveyard from anywhere during my turn, create a 1-1 one, one inside creature token. Tap 2 for the Binding of the Titans. Each player mills three cards. I'm still waiting for the part where Ben makes things leave his graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Thought Vessel, Felwar Stone, Solendi Vision. You got rid of three lands, Ben? What a homie. Two lands and a threefold Thunderhulk. Yeah, a Vorapede, a Beastmaster Ascension, and a land. Wow. Ooh, Beastmaster Ascension. And I'll pass you. Okay? On your end step, Ben. Ooh. Well, I've got the man up. I'm going to pay a green to channel the Siege who endures, targeting the uh, shared animosity. All right, shared animosity will die. All right, I got a Sacred Foundry, which will enter tapped. Okie doke. Guess we'll move on to my turn. I'll untap. Okay, I'm going to tap five. To cast Throne of Eldraine. Oh. When it enters, I'm gonna choose green. What'd it do? Oh yeah, so I can tap it to add four mana of the chosen color, spend this mana only to cast monocolored spells, uh -huh. and then I can pay three and tap to draw two cards, spend only mana of the chosen color to activate this ability. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna tap two and spend a treasure to activate the Throne of Eldraine and draw two cards. I can't believe I'm going to do this. I'm playing mono green, but I'm just going to pass the turn. I will tap the prototype to tap the clue and tap the talisman to total mana. Sack the clue, draw a card. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play the Otoar as a land. <laughs> it hurts. That's sad. To anybody who thinks I could have channeled this to shut down Blake or do something to his combat, I couldn't because I couldn't tap the artifacts for mana because of Myrel. If I had left a land open, I could have. I'm a little salty about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to pass. In my upkeep, Herald's Horn will trigger. I will show you guys a Bastion Protector. Commander creatures I control get plus two, plus two, and have indestructible. I swear to God, I've never seen a Herald's Horn hit before. In a tap five, and I'm going to play a Vanquisher's Banner. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will choose Soldier. What is really? up with all the enchantments and artifacts in this game? Because they're the best cards in your creature type focused decks. <laughs> I will then pay two mana reduced by Herald's Horn to cast that Bastion Protector. Uh, this will trigger Vanquisher's Banner and I will draw a card. I'm gonna go to combat. All of my tokens get plus two, plus five. And this is a two, five as well. I am going to send three soldiers at Shay and I'm gonna send two at Ben. And I'm gonna send one at CGB, leaving me with one untapped soldier and Prava untapped. Uh, ben, uh, anything before blocks? Before blocks. Before blocks? No. Before blocks. Anything before blocks? Before. Oh, okay. Shay, any effects before blocks? Prior. Any <laughs> effects prior to blocks? <sighs> yes. <gasps> I would like to pay three to cast a Beast Within. Yeah, with the Beast Within, I'm going to target the Vanquisher's banner. Shay, can you leave my non creatures alone? Kill a creatures! <laughs> <laughs> But you get a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Thank you. All, All right. right. That's a smooth move. I have an effect before blockers as well. The one that's coming at me is a 2-5? Now it is. I see. I'll tap three. I'm going to flash in a final word phantom. This is a new card. It's a 1-4 flash flying spirit detective. And during each opponent's end step, I may cast spells as though they had flash. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? Isn't that sweet? That's cool. <laughs> that's yeah. a cool card. I'm gonna block the, the two powery soldier that's attacking that me. Makes, that was a good choice. And yeah. I'm gonna not take damage. Well played. Yeah. I'm also gonna block one of the soldiers with my commander. And now it dies? Yeah. Shay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that's murder, okay, yep. I'll take four. Ha. <laughs> you Finally. got him. Finally, I did some damage. I'll also take four. Yeah. And then I'll pass the turn. Untap. At my upkeep, I will mill two cards. And if they're creatures, I make a 1-1. One, one. Lightning Greaves. Oh. And Old Rusty, and I get a 1-1. One, one. It worked! Wow. I get a green insect. Heck yeah, dude. I'll take my Saga to two. With the Saga, I'll target Blake's Mariel and your Llanowar elves. 
to exile, and since they're both creatures, I'll gain one life from each of them. I'm going to play Yabamaya Cradle of Growth through my land drop. I'm going to play Balaged Recover, your returning giant Adaphage to my hand. <gasps> the thing you went to <laughs> on turn oh, one, circle, yeah. Dude. And that will make the cycle of life. <laughs> so you could get it back in your hand on turn when you have seven That's... mana? <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at graveyard decks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to combat. Blake, Mr. Yeah. Grist wants some payback. Three in the air against you with my commander. <gasps> no blocks. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. I will tap three to tap the throne of Eldrain to draw two cards. Uh, okay, I'm going to play Forest as my land for turn. Then I'll tap two to cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Ben. What's up? How do you feel about insects? You want you want another one? It's the most yeah, random I question love ever. Insects. You like insects? Yeah. Favorite it's... one's a praying mantis. Ooh, that's a good choice, though. <laughs> uh, okay, Ben. If I create another insect for you, mm -hmm. will you not attack me with it? With that insect? Or with any insect? Yeah. With that insect? Sure. Yeah. That was a great deal. deal. Cool. All right, well then I'm gonna go ahead and activate the Agatha Soul Cauldron. So I'm gonna tap it, and I'm gonna target Gris. Oh, I was really oh. hoping she wouldn't. Oh, mm. that's not good. Does okay. that work? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it <clears throat> is technically a creature. So for the folks at home, it gives the creature all of the abilities. It doesn't die because it's not a planeswalker with zero loyalty, it's a creature. And it gains the loyalty and loses loyalty from abilities like a planeswalker would. Except it's a creature, so how do you take the loyalty away from it? You can't attack it. You kill yeah. it with a kill spell. Okay, we gotta kill it. Okay. Um, okay so you do it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> okay, so when I exile Grist, a couple things happen. Emissary Green is gonna get another 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, and then I'm gonna activate Grist's plus one ability and create a 1-1 one, one insect. And because Grist left my graveyard, I get an insect with three counters on it. There's too many commander. creepy crawlies in this game. I'm not oh, enjoying it. No, this is getting squirmy and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, that ability also says when I create an insect, I mill a card. So I'm gonna do that too. Okay. Did you hit an insect? Finale of devastation. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Robert. laughs> All right, well, that will conclude my turn. <clears throat> Pass to CGB. In your end step. I may cast spells as though they had flash. <laughs> oh. right. So using the chancery and the prototype, I will flash out Lavinia, my commander. Nice. Still done? Yep. Untap up, keep dry. I will play a tapped sea chrome coast, and I'll pass to Blake. <laughs> I will untap. Upkeep Harold's horn. I'll show you guys a fire main commando. It's a soldier? It worked again? Wow. Yeah, I build decks with enough creature types in there. Okay, it's fine, I'm not gonna matter. Let's start by playing the Fire Main Commando. So whenever I attack with two more creatures, I draw a card, and whenever another player attacks with two more creatures, draw they draw a card if I didn't get attacked with any of them. I'm gonna play a Valiant Veteran. <clears throat> other soldiers I control get plus one, plus one. Oh my. Wow. And then I'm gonna pay two to play Pearl Medallion. I'm gonna go to combat. All right, for my attacks, I'm gonna send three soldiers at Shay, three soldiers and a beast at CGB. They're all three sixes except for my beast, which is just a little three three buddy. This will trigger fire main commando for me to draw a card. Yep. And my beast, because it's a creature token, is a four seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna block one of the three sixes with my commander. I'll block one of the three sixes with my final word phantom. All right, so each of you will take six. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I take more. And then you these. take four additional, so you'll take 10 total. I'll take six. And I will take 10. Second main phase. I'm gonna play one that's kind of annoying. Not for me. Uh, Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. So this is a three, two first strike. Creatures and non-basic lands my opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Uh, if that resolves, I'll pass my turn. All right, I'll untap. And my upkeep, I'll mill two cards. Ooh, Zask, Skittering Swarm Lord, and a land. So I will make an insect. 
Binding of the Titans will go to three, and I'll return a creature or land from a graveyard to my hand. Okay, my insect will enter tapped, actually, because of Blake's dude. Thalia. Thalia. <laughs> <laughs> and what I got from my graveyard from the Binding of the Titans was Zask Skittering Swarmlord. From my commander, Z because I got Zask back from the graveyard, I'll make another insect with five 1 1 counters on it. He'll enter tap because of Thalia as well, but he's a big 6 6. We'll tap five to play Zask, Skittering Swarmlord. I may play land and cast insect spells from my graveyard. Whenever another insect I control dies, I put him at the bottom of my library and mill two cards. Huh. And he's a 5-5 five, five insect. Zask will enter tapped. Blake. I think you've done a little too rowdying with your soldiers this game. I would say yeah. I would say that exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack you with my commander, the 8-8 eight, eight insect, and the 4-4 four, four insect. I have a 4-3 for a strike, just so you know. Menace. Menace. They all have menace. Shit. <laughs> no. Man, maybe I won't be rowdy rowdy for too long. <laughs> So it's 10, 11, 15 total? Yes, you are correct, 15 total. I'm not a coward, so I'm gonna take 12. Wait, what did, you, what did we decide on? <laughs> 15. 15. 15. After blocks, Blake, I'll give my commander from Zach's ability plus one, plus O and death touch, so that's one more commander damage, total of 16 damage. Okay, I'll take 16, wow. a big chunk. Take it away, Shay. All right, I'm gonna untap. First things first, I'm going to activate the cauldron. Okay, with the Agatha Soul Cauldron, I'm gonna target Ben's secure tribe elder at your graveyard. Okay. I'm gonna exile that. Uh, so then with the 1-1 uh, counter given from Agatha's Soul Cauldron, I'm gonna put that on this insect here. Because you exiled Sakura tribe elder from my graveyard, I'm gonna make a 1-1 insect with two 1-1 counters on. Uh, cool. And then with Grist's ability, I'm gonna plus one to create an insect. Okay. And mill a card. All right, so this guy is gonna enter tapped and I'm gonna mill a card. It's a ram through. I'm gonna activate this one as well. So we'll go up to one loyalty to make another insect, which is also gonna enter tapped. And I will mill another card. Boom. Ah, oh, a Rasta of the Endless Web. Okay. Then I will pay four to cast Armorcraft Judge. When he enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Draw two cards. All right, then I'll pay two to cast Ozolith, the Shattered Spire. Additional counters. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> I'll play a forest as my land for turn. All right, I am gonna pay three to activate the Throne of Eldraine and draw two cards. All right, I'm gonna spend a treasure and tap the Karn's Bastion to activate the Ozolith. And I'm gonna put two counters on my Judge here. Okay, great. All right, so now this is also a Grist. And so then I'm going to plus one it to make another Insect and I will mill another card. Why does Shay always out Ben Ben? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the Zyrus, the, you know. <laughs> you know the Zyrus, yeah, it's funny because it's that true. You like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just mad at you, Ben. Uh, the board is scary, blockers are cool, pass. <laughs> End step, let's do stuff. I can tap Lavinia and the study. I will cast Delny, Streetwise Lookout, with Flash because of Final Word Phantasm. Creatures I control with power two or less can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. If an ability of a creature I control with power two or less triggers, it triggers an additional time. Using Prototype and Chancery, I will cast Alquist Proft, Master Sleuth. That is my second spell of the turn, which will trigger Lavinia, which will trigger twice because of Delny, so I will investigate twice. Then the Master Sleuth, if that enters, will investigate when he enters the battlefield as well. So. See, it's all coming back to the first clue game we all played. Sure, all of those creatures are tapped until you're on taps up. You're not wrong. 
I will use two mana to crack one clue and then two mana to crack another clue. So I'll crack two clues and draw two cards. Go to my turn. I will untap. I'll play a basic planes because Thalia sucks. Go to combat. I will attack Ben in the air with the final word Phantom and Shay on the ground with Lavinia foiled conspiracy. Lavinia cannot be blocked by creatures with power three or greater and it's a two three vigilance. I really just want to draw a card off the fire main commando, guys. Okay. okay. No blocks. No blocks. And I'll draw that card. I'll take two. I'll take one. After that, I will pass the turn. All right. Harold's horn will trigger. Draw for turn. So you are in the study. I'm going to go to the hall. Yeah, the yeah. hall. What, what? All right, CGB. I don't want to develop my board until I make you have it. Uh-huh. I will attack you with Thalia, Bastion Protector, Free Main Commando, a Beast, and a Soldier. <laughs> Who's the Commando? Fire Main Commando? <laughs> yeah. What did I say? Free Main. <laughs> Free Main. That's my boy. From the land of Free Main. <laughs> yeah. What you got? You have a tech trade? Uh, I will draw a card from my Wild Main Commander. <laughs> <laughs> and not attack anybody else? Nope. Because then I would lose all my creatures to your potential aetherizes or and or spouts. Before blockers, let's do some things. I'm going to cast an opt. I'm going to scry one and then draw a card. He had it. Wow. <laughs> Always had it. Let's put that on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom, you. All right, Blake. It is what it is. Settle the wreckage. Whoa. That's what I was worried about. <sighs> but totally fine. The Thalia is gone, guys. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Because that's my second spell and because I have Delany, I will investigate twice. Alrighty, I'm gonna get five basic lands. <laughs> you can barely, <laughs> you can't say it without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm gonna pay five. To replay Mustard, reduced by two. Pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. And my upkeep, I'll mill two. Rogue's Passage. And a Witch's Cottage. Draw for turn. Play a Swamp. Okay, it's finally coming out. Yeah, it's wow. time. It's time. It's time. Woo! It was entombed so long ago. <laughs> Turn one. Yeah, yeah. Giant Edifage. Trample 7-7 seven, seven. when he deals combat damage to a player and make a token copy of him. I will go to combat. Shay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Foreshadowing. It's just two 1v1 games going yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's get our own table, Blake. Yeah. Settle this over there. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Shay. All this is attacking you. That's five, nine, <laughs> seventeen, Holy twenty, shit. twenty-one, <laughs> twenty-four, thirty damage Whoa. coming at you. All menace. One's in the air. Whoa. All menace. All menace. And you have two blockers. I've got two blockers. And it's thirty total. So the biggest thing is an eight-eight. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My blocks are my commander and an insect on your 8-8. Eight, eight. Blocking the 8-8? Eight, eight. Blocking the 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, that's 22 damage. All right. My creatures Choo. will die, and so will your 8-8. Eight, eight. Yes, my big 8-8. Eight, eight. Bye bye. Damn. Uh, with Zask in my second main phase, I will return a land from my graveyard, and it will be Rogue's Passage. Mm. Uh oh. And that's a card leaving my graveyard, so I'll make a 1-1 one, one insect with no counters because it has zero mana cost. I'm gonna pass a turn to my lovely friend, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whiplash, Ben, the whiplash. <laughs> what a right. follow up to, I attack you for 30. <laughs> I pay five for a doubling season. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty good. So I'm gonna activate Grist's plus one, but it's actually gonna get two counters, so it'll go up to three. And that's gonna make me two insects. Okay, so I will mill a card off of that. It's a Primal Vigor. Okay, I've gotta pay two to cast and Jurel Narsil Reforged. This is a sword with a send. 
Uh, and whenever a equipped creature attacks, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. If you have the city's best blessing, put two 1-1 counters on each creature you control instead. Equip three. Okay, so then I'm gonna pay three and move to equip that to my judge. To help with simplicity, I'm going to minimize my bugs, condense them down. Okay, moving to combat, Blake. What's up? I'm swinging on at you. Uh, so currently this is a 5-5, five five, but on attack, it's gonna become a 9-9. Nine nine. Um, and then all the rest of my insects are gonna get plus six, plus six because of the sword and also because of the ozolus and also because of the doubling season. The judge does too, right? Correct, yes. So the judge will also be plus six, plus six. And they're plus one, plus one counters. Correct. I will block. Makes sense. And so yeah, since these are all grists, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, adding two loyalty there to use the plus one ability on the grist. <laughs> on each of them? On each of them, yes. So how many one ones does that make, 10? Oh, yeah. Think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five insects making two each. Not tapped. And they're not tapped anymore because of Thalia, so. Yeah. 10 insects and five mills? Yep. Yeah. More more mills if she mills an insect, dude. She get more Oh, insects? that's right. I don't think she's got a lot that's of insects so in her deck. Right. That's my deck. Yeah. <laughs> well, you never know. I don't know a better way to. Oof, okay, five, gonna mill five. One, oh. two, three, four, five. I think that's gonna be everything for me, I'll pass. We need answers to these problems. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tap my commander and I'm gonna use Alquist Prof's ability. I'm going to sacrifice a clue and I'm going to draw four cards and gain four life on your end step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Move to my turn, untap. Upkeep draw. I'll move to end step. I'll discard a path of ancestry. Do it, Blake. <clears throat> I will untap. Upkeep, I will trigger Herald's Horn and draw a card for a turn. I'm gonna play Plaza of Heroes. I'm gonna play pay two and I'm gonna play a Ranger Captain of Eos. Are ya? I am. Anything in response? Friend? See, I really look around. I think you would solve problems, but I don't think you will. I think you're just gonna go after me. You think so? I, what if I kill everybody this turn? What? Will well, that be fine? That's also a potential thing that could happen. Hmm. <laughs> it's frustrating. Put it in there for one reason. Is it because of arcane denial? Dude, you're so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Just louder, let's play but... magic, bro. <laughs> I'm, I mean. Where's that red <laughs> elemental blast, Blake? <laughs> yeah, that'll resolve. I'm gonna pay six. I'm gonna cast a call the copper coats. Um, and I'm gonna strive twice. So I'm gonna target all three of you. I get one one soldiers equal to the total number of creatures on your boards. Whoa. Is that a few? <laughs> <It's> a number. <laughs> is that a few? This is bad. I think 32. 32. <laughs> 32. 32. All right, uh, I don't think I have a lot of choice. So. I will cast Venser, Shaper Savant, and if that enters the battlefield, it will trigger twice from Delny Streetwise Lookout. I'm going to return the Call of the Copper Coast to your hand and your commander to your hand. And I will investigate twice because it's my second spell and I still have Delny. Call the Copper Coast again. All right. Um, yeah, I have uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, I've got five. I got 16. 16, so 32. Soldier boy, right. telephone. All right, 32 it is. 32 soldiers. I don't really have any attacks though, so I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Uh, so I will draw from Arcane Denial and Blake will draw two from Arcane Denial. Thanks, and, buddy. And my upkeep, I'll mill two cards. If any are creatures, I make an insect. Nope, I'll just breach the multiverse. Huh? <laughs> well, apparently I didn't finish the job last turn. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, I'm going to tap four, making giant antiphage unblockable this turn. Where's it going? It's going at <laughs> your face, Shay. <laughs> he can't even attack your wrists. <laughs> uh, shoot. Um, I don't think I have anything tricksy that I can really do about that. Ben, you got me. You got me. I'm dead. 
Insect ah, champion. Oh. I'm so dead. I will make a copy of Giant Edophage. <gasps> I will use Zach's ability to play a swamp from my graveyard. And I'll pass to uh, CGB. <laughs> Uh, you're to your dear friend. Good know, dear I'm, friend. Yeah, you're yeah. good dear friend. <laughs> All right. On the end step, I'm going to cast a ledger shredder, and then I'm going to flash in for four mana, for four mana, a 500 year diary, which enters the battlefield tapped. That will trigger ledger shredder, and because its power is two or less, it will trigger twice, and it will also trigger double. Investigation from Lavinia. Draw a card. I'll discard Savine's Reclamation. Notable flashback card. Plus one, plus one counter. Draw a discard. I'll discard Wave Break Hippocamp and add another plus one, plus one counter. Um, I still have some mana left. I'll cast Inspiring Statuary. So non-artifact spells you cast have Improvise. Move to my turn. Pass. <laughs> of course, yeah. Bat checks out. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> so many soldiers. <laughs> it's a lot of soldiers. I will untap. <clears throat> Upkeep Herald's Horn. I will draw it. All right, you ready for the sick play? I hope so. Not. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Mana positive. That's there. Whee. Nice. Now somebody tell me the definition of insanity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pay four for my commander mm -hmm. because of, <laughs> actually, apologies. I will pay three for my commander because of my special cards. That are good. Noise. All right, that is your second spell this turn. So we trigger Ledger Shredder. It now has a power greater than two, so it only triggers once. I will draw. All right, I'll discard a Windfall, and I'll put a counter on Ledger Shredder. Results. I will activate Mustard. Uh, yeah, he's activated. I'm gonna cast a Roaming Throne. <laughs> Makes triggered abilities of my creatures oh triggered twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, that resolves. It doesn't matter, because I'm gonna go to combat and he's gonna stomp on my dreams. I'll try. It's gonna name Soldier. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. All right, before the combat, I'm going to cast a Dispatch targeting Roaming Throne. This will uh, exile it because I have Metalcraft. War Trigger. I will pay. Good choice. It'll die. I will activate Commander Mustard a second time. Okay. Before attacks, Swords to Plowshares Valiant Veteran. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll gain two. Yep. Nice. And it's exiled. So when I Swords to Plowshares, Trigger Ledger Shredder is my second spell. I'll draw and I'll connive. I'll discard this command tower. Yeah. And I will investigate twice because of Lavinia. So I will go up to eight clues. Tap for white and improvise. Soul Partition, Prava of the Steel Legion. Exile it. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna go to combat, at, or I'm gonna declare attackers now. I'm gonna send 19 of them at Ben. I'm gonna send 16 of them at CGB. 16 of them, huh? 16. That's gonna put that many triggers for, well, twice that many triggers for one damage at each of you. 38, 32. 38 and 32. Hmm, so yeah. <laughs> I so there are 16 creatures attacking. All of them are double triggered by your commander. Correct. So there's 32 instances of one damage on the stack. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've got to try to draw out of it. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Okay. So I will tap 500 year diary for nine, 10, 11. We'll use prototype on a clue. I have to keep track of how many clues are untapped now. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, I've got to use this. So that's one, two, and I'll leave up two blue, see what we can draw into. 
and it's uh, gain 14, draw 14, Jeez. sacrificing my tapped clue. There's my new hand. Let it be beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna tap my Odawara to cast a Consider. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> this is the one. Uh, bend the island. I would have sick, bro. If you win, I'll allow it. Come on! I will tap a blue and two clues for Improvise. <laughs> okay. I mean, whatever happens, these are my favorite parts of every game. Yeah. I love fighting this game. Oh, alive. yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I will cast a Blake favorite frantic oh, search. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! With the Chancery right. combo. It is a combo. I will draw two. I will discard two. Why am I kind of rooting for him now? I don't like this. <laughs> uh, I will untap the Chancery and the study. Or should it? Yeah, the study. You yep. get three. Oh, and... Let's see, I have these artifacts. It could be the temple, but I'm trying to figure out if I... Mm. Yeah, let's untap the temple of the false gods. Yep, untap three lands. We're not, we're not finished yet. Uh, all right, flow to white, which could be crucial. Be a great time for a Teferi's protection. Um, dig through time, oh and God. I will delve six. Jeez. I'm not rooting for him anymore. <laughs> Quick flip. Uh, looks like, how's he, how he still cooking? I know. Yeah. How's he still cooking? It's my, it. yeah, we do our best. One, two, three, four, five, six. You look at the top seven with this. Seven. There you go. <laughs> I hope that card's not to fairies protection. I will select two cards, put these on the bottom. Ben, did the triggers resolve for you? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Ben. <laughs> And oh, there's a oh, you got me, dude. <laughs> why do you make it so stressful every time? Just let me win. I want you to feel alive. I don't. I want you to know you earned it with every uh, part of your being. Oh, I, I want you to it, feel you. it. It's good game, man. Deep in Jeez, your soul. Deep in your soul, oh. Colonel. Jeez, <laughs> bro. Wow. Oh. oh, that was a long one. Let's get our cool stuff, Inc.com card of the game. It's time for the cool stuff, Inc.com card of the game. My card of the game is the final word, Phantom. This card coming out in one of the new pre-cons. It's a sweet card. I got to do all kinds of flash stuff on everybody's end step. I had a really good time with it. Um, and being flashy with this deck really kind of changes its power level because of when you're allowed to use Lavinia's abilities. So uh, it kept me in the game, kept my opponents guessing, which they hated. I had a great time. I don't even care that I lost. I'm just glad it was stressful to kill me. It was so annoying. <laughs> my cool stuffing.com card of the game is called the Copper Coats. Man, oh man, 32 tokens was a lot that from one cool. card for only six mana. So, highly recommend you go to CoolStuffInc.com to pick up your Call the Copper Coats. My favorite card, I alluded to it on turn one. It stayed in my yard for so long, but I finally got it out. Giant <laughs> Anna Fish. And I made a copy of you it. Did. Wow. You did. You did the dream, honestly. <laughs> yeah. And you killed somebody and with I it. And I killed Shay with it. Yeah. yeah your you good, did. dear, best friend forever, <laughs> yeah. Shay. Yeah. You did something Blake and I never could do. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly. And you Truly. killed Shay. You feel good yeah. about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm the insect master. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for Ben, it's not board state that tips the scales. It's like, are you using my gimmick? <laughs> this from the guy who used her Zyrus. Yeah, and helped her win with. <laughs> <laughs> 
true. Shay, card of the game. Yeah, speaking of using his gimmick, uh, my card of the game is Grist. Uh, Ben's <laughs> Grist, to be exact. Uh, was, at this point, is he Ben's Grist anymore? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> that was just wild, making all those insects yeah. and making oh, yeah. more Grists and the, the counters and everything. Yeah, Super it, cool. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, that's for sure. Agatha's Soul Cauldron blows my yeah. mind. Oh, that's yeah. a crazy <laughs> that's insane. card. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, the, the, the loyalty of counters <laughs> on yeah. the thingy with the doubling season yeah. and also an Ozilus, so I don't know. It, 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 uh, the logistics <laughs> of the number of different types of dice we need. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST to get a discount and pick up some supplies from Ultimate Guard. They are the only supply company we use here on the show, and we love them very, very much. And until next time on... Ow. Careful. <laughs> Where did that come from? It's so it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. We know who did it. It was Blake in the hall in with the, hall? the knife. It was the mustard. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. You stay till the end. That's the best thing you can do for the show. Hit like, hit subscribe. On behalf of my friends, you're, you're cool. cool. What's happening? Uh, the ability. So I put one one counters on it equal to its greatest mana value, which was seven. Oh, so okay. Yep. Explain that nice and clean. Yeah. yeah, and then be like, who's? Then I want you to say who's laughing now. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So I made an insect from the giant anaphage leaving my graveyard, which is a one one, but with its mana cost, it gets seven one one counters. Mm. Look who's. What <laughs> <laughs> laughing now, is that what I'm... <laughs> We're laughing now. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Ben, I swear to God, it never guys, changed. <laughs> never. We love you so much, Ben. You were the best. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> what should we do with oh my Well, God. guess who's fuck <laughs> <laughs> laughing now? <laughs> He'll figure out something oh, to do with it. I, I don't want another take. Really incredible. Really incredible.